Evan with Fuel and Parts. I'm going to go over conversion camshafts and how to install them. All right, so here we have a set of conversion camshafts. These are a specialty camshaft for 99 to 06 style twin cam engines. And what it uses is a 07 and later style outer journal for the front here that goes into the cam support plate and then a 99 to 06 inner journal that goes into the crankcase. This allows us to upgrade to all the latest and greatest as far as the twin cam cam support plates go. Since the conversion camshaft uses an 07 and later style outer cam journal, you'll notice that we're using an 07 and later style cam plate. Just like our cams, we already have this pre-lubricated, our bores and also the inner thrust surface here is lubed up and we have everything ready to go for install. The nice thing about this setup when you're upgrading your motorcycle is that it doesn't require any press work to install the camshafts. We have our chain installed on the camshafts and we have verified that our timing marks are aligned. These cams are ready to go ahead and slide into this new cam support plate. One thing I like to do when installing these is kind of pinch the chain just to make sure that our timing doesn't go off on the cams here. We want to make sure that these slide in evenly and that there's no binding as we go down. Even once they're installed, go ahead and rotate the cams just to make sure that everything is rotating and moving freely. Turn this over and look at the face of the cam plate. Always verify that your timing marks are uh, aligned. The next step from here, you can see that we already have our front thr thrust surface uh, lubricated. And we have here our 100 thousandths washer that comes in the 8041 kit right over the camshaft here. All right, so the very last step is just installing this retaining ring. This makes sure that everything's locked in place and that the cams can't be slid in and out of the cam support plate. Um, you can see here it did lock all the way around and we have a good even seat. And that cam plate's ready to go. Uh, we'll go ahead and install our oil pump next. So with our 07 and later style cam support plate, we need to match that to an 07 and later style oil pump, which is this style right here. This is our 7030 OE plus oil pump. This pump's already been cleaned pre-lubed and we also have it pre-primed with some 20W50 conventional motor oil. You'll also notice that on our cam support plate that we've already lubed the face where the rotors will mate up uh, with the cam support plate here. Again, the crucial thing with these cam plates and oil pumps is that we never want to install them dry. We want to make sure that they're very clean and very well lubed. Uh, because starting an engine dry can cause damage very quickly. We have the pump set up and we're going to go ahead and mate up this cam support plate with the oil pump. And so when we set this in we're going to take our screws and the key really is is that we're just going to be putting these bolts in finger tight um, so we can do the final alignment procedure inside the motorcycle. You also notice that on our bolts that we have the molly lube uh, on the threads as well as the underhead flange of the bolt. With our oiling system we recommend against using any Loctite whatsoever and the reason that we do that is because we've found that the Loctite can actually cause issues with the stack up tolerance especially with a performance oil pump like this and it can also if used excessively um, cause Loctite debris to go into the oiling system which can lead to pump failure. next key component when installing our oiling system is that this o-ring actually needs to go onto the back of the sub seal first uh, before we install it into the case. Put just a little bit of assembly lube just to help guide that o-ring in and prevent it from tearing or getting pinched when you're installing it. The reason we install the o-ring on the back of the oil pump before installing it into the case is to make sure that when we put this in and then we're going through our torquing procedure that the pump is not going to come dislodged from that o-ring which could potentially cause scavenging issues. So we got everything installed on the cam support plate as an assembly here. We have our oil pump, cam plate, cams, inner cam chain and the tensioner. This is all ready to go into our cam compartment here. The shaft has been pre-lubed and cleaned up. Um, our inner cam bearings have been pre-lubed and we're just going to go ahead and install this as an assembly. Once again you can see the flats on the crankshaft have been set so that the flats are on the top and the bottom uh, to correspond with the oil pump flats that we aligned earlier. If you need to rock it back and forth just to get the flats to go in and then as we get into the seating point we're going to put our thumb down at the bottom of the oil pump here and press in to get that o-ring engagement and you should have a real positive engagement as the cam plate seats up against the mounting surface here. So just like our oil pump bolts, our cam plate support bolts are already pre-lubed with the ARP Molly Lube that's supplied in the kit. 
Um, and what we're going to do is just install these again finger tight and then we'll go ahead and roll over the engine to help center up the cam support plate and oil pump and we'll uh, step torque these as we tighten everything down. You'll notice that our pinion shaft bolt has already been pre-installed since the beginning here. We're going to use that to rotate the engine over and get the cam plate and oil pump centered up. So that's the basic steps to installing our OE Plus oiling system. If you have any additional questions, please check out our website or give us a call here at the shop.